It's 5 a.m. I'm going to America. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's interminable. Wow. Man, this is cool. Perfect circuit. How long have you guys been around for? We've sold online for about 10 years, but we opened our shop right here about seven or eight years. Is that a synthesizer that you do not have? <laughs> you should, you know what I'm gonna do? Quick montage with all the synthesizers that are in this room. <laughs> you know what? I want to try Osmos because I've never tried it before. Is that okay if we do? Uh, oh, by the way, we have a recording rig that is mobile. Do you want me to try this? If you do, Hit that like! Thank you! Also, you should subscribe by now. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what's wrong with you! Come on, you can do it. Yes? Yes! Osmos! notes. Okay, one more preset. Obviously, I have to try the 2022 Minimog, right? <laughs> that sounds good. We have an 
LFO right here. It's a different LFO then. New controls on the mini mug. A Dr. Mix. You know what I was thinking? I want to play again the Axel F theme, right? And I want to use all of your synthesizers. How's that? You can see the reaction, but they're jumping with excitement. <laughs> I want to do like a sort of harder, like sort of EDM version of it. Do you have some very powerful analog drums that can be, you know, hitting hard? No, we have no drum machine. <laughs> drum shop. Man, what is this? Pulsar 23. Can we start with the, with a snare drum built on this? Because I never tried it. Pulsar 23. First time I try it, you have points of contact, right? But then, for example, if you want a little bit of modulation, you can touch this and then touch this. And the harder you touch, the more it affects. Or you can even just grab a couple of uh, these guys. Yeah? Mod. 32-bit, and then you go like this. All right. Okay, let's record this. How about if we use Electron to do a nice punchy kick drum and maybe some snappy snaps? Let's try different kick drums. Nice. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, I like the snares as well. Okay, let's put down the kick first, okay? Okay. Let's look for a snare drum now. Ooh. Okay, let's record this snare drum as well. Here, and then the DRM one. Yes! Okay, let's go. Bass. Mm, 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 mm. oh. Profit. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Yeah? Let's try it. <laughs> Maybe we could try and double up with the Hoboheim OBX8, especially because I've never recorded it, so... <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So which one is your favorite synthesizer so far? Let me know in the comments. That's right. You know what I really want to try? I've never tried the Super 6. I've heard so much about it. This is a good occasion for a lead synth, isn't it? Woo! It is very good, isn't it? I would do that. Let's do that. Yes. And we double it up with this. What is this? Trigon 6. Let's try, try, go on, try, tr try it. Ooh. I like it. I like it, it's a bit out of tune though. Yeah, that's cool. How about if we use the C15? Why not, right? Yeah, we should use a little bit of Juno 6 for a little reinforcement of that melody. Oh, yeah. oh it's got speakers, that's cool. It's even the right tempo, isn't it? Ah, that's cool, let's record that. And uh, summit, let's. This feels nice. Woo! This is a good synth. Never heard of it. Woo! What is that called? Summit? Summit yep. from Novation. From Novation. There you go. I like it. We have to use that. I love this. This is the eight. Yes. So while he is moving the rig along, I want to ask you something. So basically we are in Burbank. So we are in the middle of West Hollywood on yeah. one side, yeah. Studio City on one other yeah. side. This must be the home of some very famous producers, right? Absolutely. Do you get any in the shop? All the time. Like who? I've seen everybody from Flying Lotus to JJ Abrams come in. So, lots of cool people come by. 
dude, you've got to check out this shop. There's a link in the description. Yeah, do that. All right, let's go. That's cool. <laughs> I think that the last instrument that we play is this one. Do you feel like patching up some sounds here? Absolutely. <laughs> Look at this. What is it? It's like mi mix bits and bobs? Yeah, a bunch of different uh, Eurac modular. Wow. Things. What is your favorite piece in here? I've been liking the Nautilus recently by Qubit. It's a really cool textural delay kind of effect. All right, so we're gonna use that and maybe we can do like a high pitch sort of sine wave yeah. with that beautiful lush delay that you talked about. Yes. Let's do that. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay, let's do that. So we have created this passion. When I say we, I mean him, <laughs> where there are a few things interesting happening. I think this is perfect for, for an intro. Yeah, we're gonna use it as a beginning of the track. Okay, let's go. Yes! <laughs> That's gonna be our intro. You know what, while he is working a little bit on the structure, I want to show you something that I really love. And please explain what it is, because how cool is that? So it's like a modular synthesizer like you'd use with audio stuff, but it works at video frequency rates. Video synthesizer. How do you operate it? Just like any other synthesizer, you connect things together. You have oscillators, filters, different things. So by touching these bits, we get different images there, right? Exactly. Like, just no way. Woo! This is perfect for our video. Exactly. Check out Perfect Circuit. There's a link in the description. They're so lovely. This shop is awesome. I think that we can present the final thing, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Circuits. <laughs>